Hi, welcome to Kitchen Chemistry with Essential Wholesale and Labs. I'm Tina Cut, and today I'll be showing you how to make springtime fresh fabric softener. So let's get started. You'll need one and a half cups of hot deionized water. Your water doesn't have to be boiling, but it should be at least 110 degrees. You'll need a full cup of basic conditioner, one and a half cups of vinegar, and an ounce of uh, Bloomer's essential oil or the essential oil of your choice. So the first thing we want to do to make our fabric softener is to mix together our essential oil and our conditioner. So I'm just going to pour that full ounce in there and an ounce may seem like a lot but it is a fabric softener so so um, you want to uh, of course make sure that that scent lasts in your laundry. Um, you can certainly use less or more as you prefer. We'll just mix this together first. And the reason that we put the essential oil into the conditioner first is so that it will help from separating out of our um, vinegar and water. Oh, that smells so good. That Bloomer's essential oil blend is lovely. Um, of course, you can choose an essential oil blend of your choice uh, or, or any essential oil that you'd like to use. Okay. Now that that's mixed together, we're going to add our vinegar to our hot water. And then add our conditioner and essential oil to the hot water vinegar mixture. And simply mix those together. And that looks fairly well mixed together. So now it's ready to pour off into your packaging. I just chose a plain, plain old white bottle. Uh, this this uh, recipe will uh, uh, yield approximately four cups. Looks like I'm spilling a little. You can always use a funnel to get a more accurate <laughs> pour. <laughs> Oops. So it doesn't quite hold all of it, but there you go. That's kind of the idea. Um, use uh, a quarter to a half a cup per full load of laundry. And uh, we hope you enjoy your new springtime fresh fabric softener. <laughs>